مکتب سید الشهدا سید الشهدا اسکول ویچ از لوکیتد ان هزارا ریجن وست اف کابول ان دیس اسکول 16000 استادی ان تو شیفتس اباوت 7500 اف دیم ار فیمل حادثه خونین 18 سور چهار بلادی انسیدن آن 8 آف می 2021 هپند اگزاکلی ون دی سکول گرز لفت دیز سکول اکاردنگ تو استیتستکس 96 پیپل ور مردر نیولی 300 ور انجرد آن 3 آدرز ور میسی گر مفقود شدن حادثه مکتب سید الشهدا The incident of the school of Sayyid al-Shuhada an unforgettable memory in the minds of the people. The school located in the poorest area west of Kabul. A few kilometers from the presidential palace and key ministries witnessed the bloodiest terrorist attack in which nearly 100 students were killed and nearly 300 others were injured. Students are still missing. There was an explosion in this part. Was it here? Yes, right here. The effects of the explosion can be seen here. It was an unexplainable day. I really can't express that day in words. The car was partially torn out at the time of explosion. It was torn to pieces. The bigger part was here. Small parts hit the side of the electric junction, and the power supply was completely destroyed. Other parts of it has even hit the walls of the neighboring schools. Neighbors saw a collision in their backyard. Here we wanted to lift a wounded man in ambulance to take him to the hospital. When we wanted to get him on the ambulance, half of his body would remain on the ground. We pulled a piece of wound from the blast side about eight days after the incident. Pieces of meat and torn bones were seen for a long time in the area. The atmosphere was full of blood and completely liquefied from the intensity of the blood. We found two wounded at this boat. The first one was in the middle of the road, here. Yes. She fell here. I found my daughter here. When I saw her, I did not recognize, but her mother knew her from the sign of her hair that she had combed and braided, but I could not recognize her. 
اینجا در مکتب سید. Here in Sayyid Shahrai school teachers and school officials have a sad story from the day of the incident. My students went out earlier than other students because of the building number. The first were our 11 and 7 classes. I ran to the school gate where the second explosion happened. I closed the gate. I went out of the school to collect the wounded. We bring students out of school, pulled from Barber Dwyer. I got in the car with the male teachers. I didn't see the female teachers. They were men. One of the victims had a burnt face. In this incident, 90% of the victims were school children who were martyred and wounded, and 10% of passersby, business people or strangers were killed in the incident. Unfortunately, over 90% of this group are girls. who were martyred and wounded. Findings of organization investigating victims of terrorist incident. It shows in the deadly incident of Sayyid Shaharai school, along with Shukriya, a number of others are still missing. Yes. God does not make this day happen to anyone. It will be sure as it is today, tomorrow, and it will be night. On Wednesdays, we went to the shrine of Hazrat Abul Fazl to make a wolf. We went to the government. We told themselves we lost Shukriya. You should help us in finding Shukriya. They said we will help. The Ministry of Interior then announced we do not have any registered name by the name of Shukriya. We are really disappointed of government that it is not pursuing our case. To ask the relevant department, but there is no news and it is too late for me. They did not follow up. From the beginning of the case, the organization has been looking for clues about the missing. We, who went missing through the media, had identified another missing person named Shukriya, daughter of Abdullah, and Amina, daughter of Nawruz Ali, who they themselves contacted, but there was never any media. Recently, we also found another person whose relatives are looking for him. They went to hospitals, freshening medicine, and schools. The relatives of Fatima, daughter of Gambar, who lives in Daikundi, have a total of three missing people. Try to live all days of your life. Before the incident on 8th of May 2021, the doors and walls of this school were old and worn out. But 16,000 students were drawing their future from here with thousands of hopes. Now, the walls of this school are decorated with beautiful slogans and luxurious colors. But alas, Many are no longer alive to read these slogans and be inspired by them. Personally, when I enter school, these words and slogans no longer affect me. I do not like it at all. They were not there when they should have been.
بیشتر باشندگان منطقه شهر Most of the residents of Etifaq town are poor and working families who are paid for their children's education with daily wages. The girls who study in this school pay for their education more by waving carpets. I had a student who lived at 4 o'clock in the morning and worked from Kleina to Polikhoshk. So he came to school at 6.30 in the morning. When I remembered them, grief and sorrow became so great on me. I saw the student went to work hard for a half a day, then graze a sheep, after which he provided his own course money. These are memories that always bother a person, and there are things that cannot be said. We borrowed 5,000 Afghanis from our family for our wounded child. Another 4,000 were given by the school and journalists. My husband is a daily worker, 100 Afghanis a day or less, or even a day when he didn't bring any money at all. She was my soul in my life. She was my shoulder and arm. She was my worker. She prepared food for us every day. At 11, she herself went to school quickly. She was going to school. She was leaving school at 5. She was fasting. I would go to her and tell him to get up. It was time to breakfast. She would get up. She would prepare food. Zermina was everything to us. She was our life. Volunteer doctors team have found most of the victims of the school of Said Shuhada who are living on the mountains. They are in a very bad condition. A father who was green grocer and a brother who left school and went to hard labor to educate his sisters. But 18-year-old Saleha and 13-year-old Zakia fell victim to the bloody incident of Sayyid Shahrai school with all their wishes. Now they are losing two children. This incident has destroyed these parents. No Since the day that this incident happened, my work, my life have been destroyed. I no longer have any desire. I have no hope. I don't like to live. I wish at least one of them was alive. When I do housework, I remember my daughters who were alive with me one day. My life is destroyed. I used to study in 11th grade. We have just arrived from village. The cost of living was high for us. I left school so that my sisters could continue their education. I work during the day and return home at night. There is no enthusiasm for work anymore and there is no happiness left. Nothing is the same as before. My laughter, my talking is not like before. The world is so tight on my head with its greatness. I have no reason to live. <laughs> Consequences of the bloody incident of the 8th of May 2021 in the Sayyid Shaharai school in Deshtaburti, west of Kabul, caused mental problems to remain students, and families have decided to block education for their daughters. 
My son says I will not go to school. We begged and begged him to go to school. Your sisters will be happy with you, who helps me, who takes care of my lessons. My sisters used to help me, but now who helps me? I say go to your cousin's study, they will help. We lost our friends, we lost our classmates with all the pain we built our school with hundred problems. Enough, it's enough. We are tired of this life. How long will we witness these events? How long? With what hope do we come to this school to study and build our future? How long will it last? We are tired. <laughs> She is not normal. One night she is okay, but then her shocks began. After that incident, I'm not like before. It's been a long time. I went to the hospital almost these days. We went to the hospital the day before yesterday. My mental state is very damaged. On the day of the incident, I saw my classmate with its head away from its body. After I saw the scene, I could not stand it anymore. My memory and mood were really bad. I wished before, but um, after losing my two cousins, everything was taken away from me. Thank that I have no spirit to achieve my dreams. We talked to the families, we went to the students' houses to let their children to go back to school and continue their education. But none of them have motivation for their children to go back to school. And I don't think that the students will dare anymore to go back to school. The fact is that the damage is much greater than what everyone thinks. Psychological shocks or stress increase over time. About 60 people with chronic and serious disorder have been identified who need urgent psychiatric treatment. The news of the bloody incident of Sayyid Shaharai school in which the statistics of the wounded and the missing were changing second after second quickly spread around the world and became the hottest subject of the world's medias, local medias and social networks, making themselves and others more and more sad. Emotionally, the scale and international reaction have been unparalleled. In response, the UN Security Council called the attack brutal and cowardly and called for justice and accountability for the perpetrators of the bloody attack. The statement called all countries to work with the government of Afghanistan in accordance with their commitments to bring the justice to the perpetrators of this attack. The Pope's prayer for the martyrs and the condemnation of the incident by the Pope and the President of France, Emmanuel, have also condemned this deadly incident expresses its condolences to the families and relatives of the victims after the attack on girls' school in Kabul. I call on all peace activists in Afghanistan to talk. Nothing can justify violence. The European Parliament also issued a resolution calling for the establishment of commission to investigate the tragedy of Sayyid Shaharai School and Berchi 100 Beds Hospital. In response to the bloody attack on the school of Sayyid Shahada and in honor of the blood of the martyrs, Iran changed the color of the Azadi Tower to the color of the Afghan flag. And the religious leaders of Iran, President, the House of Representatives and the country's imitators issued separate messages and condemned. Ayatollah Sistani issued a statement regarding the bloody attack on the school of Sayyid Shahada and strongly condemned the attack. Ayatollah Hakim has also issued a message regarding the bloody tragedy of Sayyid Shahada school and the genocide of Hazaras, killing Shiites to act in accordance with their human and legal duty to condemn and punish them. Ayatollah Fayyaz also made a statement regarding the incident of the school of Sayyid Shahada. 
Inside Afghanistan, the incident provoked strong reactions from government officials, party leaders, members of the House of Representatives and the Senate Parliament. A day of public mourning was announced. The president and his deputies issued a message of condolences to the families of the victims. Dear compatriots and mourning families, yesterday evening, the enemies of the Afghan people murdered and wounded a large number of our children with terrorist attack on school of Sayyid al-Shuhada in Dashdabarchi. I express to the murderers of education and all the people of Afghanistan for me as a father of two children and my colleagues, this is a heartbreaking grief, and we share our condolences in this great grief with each of your families. The attack on innocent people, especially children, students, and schoolgirls, are a clear example of human crime and anti-Islamic values, the perpetrators of which make the Afghan people more condemned and hated. Hussad Haji Muhammad Maqiq, leader of Islamic Unity Party of the People of Afghanistan and security and political advisor to the president. And Ustad Muhammad Karim Khalili, former chairman of the High Peace Council and leader of the Islamic Unity Party of Afghanistan, also issued separate messages calling for the perpetrators to be investigated and should be known as the Hazara genocide in Afghanistan. Institutions such as the Afghan Independent Human Rights Commission and the United Nations Security Council have issued a statement calling for the release of Hazaras in Afghanistan. The incident of Sayyid Shahrai School has been one of the hardest topics of the people's representatives. The Internal Security Commission ordered to coordinate with the relevant institutions to investigate the occurrence of Sayyid Shahadai school incident and to share their detailed report with the parliament. Terrorists directly target a people and a religion, and this in itself is a clear example of genocide. The severity of this incident affected on gentle and calm spirit of the country's poets, artists, athletes, musicians, and painters and the artist created numerous works in this field. I also commented on this issue. This is not a war crime, this is genocide. There are other issues for war crimes. This is the clear example of genocide. Zajahoi <laughs> این طرف و آن طرف آسمانی می شوند رقص گیسوی نگین و رقص بسمیل نگار و کنگ حادثه It was a really devastating and horrific incident Respect for human dignity Afghan people's life have value که بیا اینو هر رقم فجایی کشود Today, I would like to present two valuable medals of our history. The 2017 Medal of Turkmenistan, the first circuit in the history of Afghanistan, which we achieved with difficulty and hardship. They lost that each of them had a pen in his hand. I want to sell them at auction. In terms of national and international law and convention, human rights experts 
The attack on girls in Western Kabul is a clear example of the genocide of Hazars in Afghanistan. According to legal and political experts, this incident is a clear example of genocide in Afghanistan. There are several criteria for genocide. One is that a crime has taken place, such as murder or injury. Secondly, the same special intention, which is to destroy a certain ethnic group, religion, race, nation to be pursued by terrorists. Undoubtedly, all of these incidents, which are series of recent incidents that have taken place in the western part of Kabul, can all be examples of genocide. The incident of Sayyid Shahadai school is one of them. The criminals and terrorist networks have targeted a specific ethnic group, a specific religion, a specific ethnic and racial group the worst of which was undoubtedly the incident of the Sayyid al-Shuhadai school. We are a large number of children who were actually murdered. It can all be said that they were from the same tribe. It happened in an area where most of them are residents of the same tribe. The incident of Sayyid al-Shuhadai was a human felony their crime which the victims had no role to any fights, but unfortunately had been targeted ruthlessly. The incident of the school of Sayyid al-Shuhada was a super genocide that happened in the history of these people. The Afghan Independent Human Rights Commission has cited its assessment and investigation as a clear example of genocide against the Hazars and a statement issued a day after the incident. Hazaras are subject to genocide. Recent events show that Hazara people are very systematically and specifically targeted, especially in areas such as schools, sport clubs, on course, or in areas where Hazaras often live. And this creates deep concern, and we think these people are somehow exposed to genocide, unfortunately. Is a great catastrophe on the verge of oblivion? If neglected, what are the consequences and dangers for the people and the government? What are the responsibilities of the affected people, government, officials and international institutions towards the case of the school of Sayyid al-Shahada? The government should again seek the help of international institutions from the Hague Criminal Court because they said that the main jurisdiction of the crime of genocide is the country and state where the crime took place, and the jurisdiction of the International Court of Justice is a kind of complementary jurisdiction. In Afghanistan, nothing has been done so far to pursue and punish the perpetrators of this incident other than issuing message of condolence, condemnation, public mourning and the formation of the fact-finding commission. We do not see any progress or report on the progress of the Afghan security forces, investigation into the perpetrators of these incidents. Shahzad Akbar, head of the Independent Human Rights Commission, said the Afghan government had asked the International Crime Court not to investigate crimes against humanity in Afghanistan. They set up a couple of boots outside the school. There are so many threats, we still do not feel that security has been prepared. Unfortunately, every day, when we want to leave the house, when we say goodbye to our family members, we have very little hope 
to return home safe. Our facilities are very limited here. Even though 15,000 students study here, 7,500 of our students are only girls. Finally, the families and the victims hopeless of the government and hopeful for the hack court line a tortured storm under the pretext of stopping the killing of Hazara or the genocide of Hazaras so that the International Criminal Court would not simply ignore this human rights tragedy. There was no other way for us to use the media in the world to document this incident to the international community and the Security Council and the influential institutions and the Hague Tribunal to all the influential international organizations. The government of Afghanistan, the intelligence of the country, the Directorate of National Security can do this. I think that these people should be recognized. Does the International Court of Justice of Hague has competence over this issue? What should be done to file a complaint in the International Criminal Court of Hague? The international fact-finding team should find out how they are doing these things, how justice is being ruled to them, and how the Afghan government, its relevant institutions should act in this regard. On the other hand, determine who supports them if there is financial support or other supports. One of the good things that has been done is that the European Parliament emphasizes the international investigation of this issue and all the events that have taken place in Afghanistan. Undoubtedly, one of those discussions is the case of the martyrs, which should be truly investigated, and this has very dangerous consequences for the future of the country. And now, it has left a very deep frustration on Afghanistan, especially on the areas where a certain ethnic group lives. We are deeply concerned. There were three ways, according to the ICC or the Prosector's Office, which is required to investigate a case, to file a document with the International Court of Justice, which is a clear example of millennial genocide. Or the government asks the International Court of Appeals and provides them with the documents that are a clear case of genocide. And the third solution is the issuance of a statement by the UN Security Council. It is the duty of the government to implement the laws. In any incident or in these events that have taken place in the prosecutor's office in the court of a certain branch, a series of special judges should investigate them, collect their documents and register them. This does not mean that we have the authority to prosecute a terrorist group when we know them and find an arrest. No, this is not the case. Before these cases are brought, before the arrests are made, before it becomes clear which terrorist network is behind these cases, the government has a duty under Article 333 of the Penal Code to open a case and assign a group of experienced prosecutors to the victims, identify their statements, capture evidence, record evidence of a genocide crime, and keep the case open. When we looked at the history of targeted attacks on Hazaras in Afghanistan, we found 32 similar attacks, which took place in places where Hazaras were gathering, or Hazaras were deliberately abducted and beheaded on the highway. After the bloody attack on the school of Saidu Shohadan, which was a scandalous and a very painful tragedy, we witnessed for more incidents. After the attack on the Qasr or city cars in front of Ahlubayt Mosque in Sarikaris, 
as well as Al Masagarb LA. An on June 3, an attack on city cars on the burned bridge of Chauke Shait Mazuri. An on June 3, an attack on city cars on the burned bridge of Chauke Shait Mazuri. On June 8, we had an attack on a Tunisian type car or Dar al Amman Road. And on June 11, we witnessed an attack on two Tunisian type cars in front of Muhammad Ali Jannah Hospital and Saripul Station in the 13th district of Western Kabul. Even children were martyred and most of them were burned. <laughs> Our demand from the government over and over. You may have heard of the complaints of the people in every suicide. Their demands has been to ensure their security. Oh, no.